Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the AuthorTube in Practice and Theory tag. So this was created by Stripped Cover Lit. I was tagged by Todd the Librarian, so thanks Todd, cheers. And we have 10 questions, so I'm going to do those 10 questions, and then I'm going to tag a few AuthorTubers that I can think of. So, straight into it, question number one. How do you normally start writing a poem? So, for me, I write my poems in this little notebook here, uh, the, my Beatles notebook. Usually, I have some sort of line in my head, and I start with that, and I write like the first stanza, and then I kind of see how it takes me. So I write in free verse as well, which means that I'm not limited to certain rhyming patterns, rhyming schemes, structures, all that kind of stuff. So really, it's very sort of stream of consciousness. You have that first idea, you go in and you see where it takes you, you know? Sometimes I have a title in mind as well, but usually the title comes at the end. Question number two, how do you normally start writing a short story? So most of my short stories I now write on my computer unless there is some reason for it. So for example, uh, if I go traveling, I'll get a notebook like this, a moleskin, and uh, potentially write while I'm away. So I've written you know, longhand short stories in Amsterdam and various other places. Again, usually I have an idea of what I'm gonna do before I get started. I don't necessarily plan the whole story though, so I'll probably just have a paragraph or two paragraphs with kind of the core ideas of the story that I can then tap into and make sure, you know, it's, it's on message. And then I just write and then edit. <laughs> Question number three, how do you normally start writing a novel? So this is quite different because my novels I do plan. I'm, I'm not the biggest planner, but I, I plan a fair amount. So I think for my last two novels, the one I'm currently writing and the, the last one that I drafted, I think I had about 10,000 words of planning, but then the final things were kind of 120,000 words plus. So, and I, I'll just do a sort of a chapter outline, character outline, so that I know, you know, who's who. And that kind of allows me to flesh it all out as well. It's not set in stone, so I can change it as I go along and typically do. And then, yeah, I just start writing and just work it into my writing routine and keep going until it's finished, to be honest. It's usually maybe three to six months to write a novel. Question number four, do you have a writing strategy? Not really. I mean, I don't really understand the question, to be honest. Is in a strategy like, oh, I'm going to write young adult because it's a popular genre and I'll sell lots of books. I'll write a series and get people in that way. No, nothing like that. I just write books. Well, I come up with my ideas and then just write the ones that I want to see the most, you know? And I'm a big believer that I think every writer should write the books that they want to see. Question number five, do you compose on paper or a computer? So I used to write on paper and in fact, No Rest for the Wicked and Formally, which are two of my books, those were both totally handwritten. And there are other books that I've handwritten in the past as well that haven't been published. And I basically I used to write them by hand and then type them up and edit as I went and then give them some more editing and I kind of thought that that was one way to shorten the editing process, but no, it turns out to be much, much quicker to, you know, write at a computer. So now I just sit here and write on my computer and I can do like 12,000 words in a day if I'm, if I'm really pushing it. Question number six, you are allowed to claim one work of fiction as your own. What is it? I think The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, just because it was my best book of last year and I just think that's the kind of book that could make a career, you know? Question number seven, do you set goals? If so, how? Sort of, not so much as I used to. I used to set a goal of 1,000 words a day on my work in, pro uh, work in progress and like track how I was doing, you know, uh, day by day. But I find that doesn't work too well because quite often there are other, there's other stuff that comes along, you know? So I might average 1,000 words a day, but suddenly I'll be three weeks ahead and then suddenly I'll, I'll be only one week ahead because for two weeks I had some other project come along. So um, no, I don't really, don't really track my, my, writing I don't think. Question number eight, boom, you win the Nobel in literature. What is it that got you the award? I don't know, possibly Meet. The the last novel that I wrote uh, hasn't been edited yet, but because it's set on a factory farm and it's kind of designed to get you thinking a little bit about, um, you know, where your food comes from, basically. So maybe that. Question number nine, boom, you're a Nobel winning millionaire. Where do you live? What do you drive? Well, I can't drive at the moment. I'm currently learning to drive. But I drive something pretty, like, normal. Probably, uh, actually, a Prius or uh, a Tesla if, if I was feeling really flashy. Where would I live? I'd probably live in Oxford, you know. It's, it's very nice in Oxford. Buy a house. And I think the property values would just go up there as well. Question number 10. Boom, you're in writer heaven. There are five writers in your writer's group. Who are they? And... 
and why? Okay, well I guess I'd have Stephen King because he's the master. I would have, I'm guessing this has got to be living writers as well. I'd have Margaret Atwood because she's the mistress. I would have JK Rowling because just anything that she attaches her name to is going to sell pretty well. I would have Peter James because he seems quite nice. I follow him on social media and stuff and he has a, lots of animals. Uh, and then I would have Philip Pullman because Philip Pullman. So there we, ha there we have it. That is my take on the authortube and practice and theory tag. I'm going to tag five people now. So I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag uh, Charlie Heathcote. I'm going to tag Emma Rosen Burks. I'm going to tag Anthony Andrews because he's doing some writing as well. I am going to tag. I want to do like two more, two other author tubers. Who have I even read? I'll tag Amy McLean. I don't know if she watches my videos, but you know she might want to do it. And I will tag Lucy from uh, Book Axe. Lucy, go on, go on, Lucy, go on, Luce, go on. All right. And on that note, that is the end. So thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments your thoughts on this tag. Let me know about your writing process if you would like, and uh, yeah, what you think of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.